This is player A and player B. They are identical 18 year old twins. Well, almost identical. Player A has always been dedicated to fitness and makes the right choices. This is reflected in a natural fitness attribute score of 20. Player B on the other hand hasn't always made the right choices. He often suffers with small injuries and this is reflected with a natural fitness score of 2. In today's video both player A and player B will be promoted to the first team at Celtic. They will both play as central midfielders with attacking roles and form a partnership in the middle of the pitch. I'm going to look at their development over the course of three seasons to see if natural fitness will aid their development between the ages of 18 and 21. In the first season, player A would play in 47 matches. He would score 8 times and provide 12 assists. Looking at his player profile page, you can see there is already some development. He has gained 2 points in 9 different attributes and 1 point in 17 other attributes. Taking a look at his progress graph shows that he has had slight overall improvement in his technicals. He has had a major overall improvement in both the mentals and the physicals. Player B would play in 46 games. He would score 14 goals and chip in with 7 assists. Looking at his player profile page shows a good amount of improvement. His biggest gain is 3 points in decisions and he scores 2 point gains in 9 other attributes. When looking at his development graph you can see he has had a slight overall improvement in the technicals, a major overall improvement in the other 2 areas of his game. In Season 2, Player A would play in 43 games. He would score 11 goals and provide 10 assists. Player A's profile page shows he has had another step forward in his development. There are scores of 13 now in 5 different attributes and there is progress in all 3 areas of his game. Looking at his progression graph shows he has now had major overall improvement in the technicals, the mentals and the physical side of his game. The biggest gain is vision with 3 points. Player B would play in 45 games. He would score 16 goals and provide 16 assists. Player B's profile page also shows more improvement in his development. He now has 6 attributes which are 13. He has had improvement in nearly every attribute. Looking at his progression graph, he has had major overall improvement in all 3 areas of his game. His biggest gains are in stamina, vision, decisions and marking. Moving into the final season of the experiment, player A would play in 50 games. He would score 11 goals and provide 8 assists. He would have totals of 113 games played and 21 goals scored in 3 seasons. Season 3 would bring on another step in his development. He now scores 14 for decisions and vision. He has 13 for 8 other attributes. Looking at his development graph, you can see that he has had a major overall improvement in all 3 areas of his game, although there is some regression in his technicals. His injury record shows he missed 54 days due to 9 spells of injury. Player B would play in 48 games, scoring 14 goals and getting 10 assists. He would finish on 109 games, scoring 38 goals. He would play less games, but score more goals than player A. Looking at his profile page shows that he scores 14 for positioning and vision, as well as 7 attributes that score 13. Looking at the progression graph, he has had major overall improvement in all 3 areas of his game, he too has had some regression in his technicals. His injury record shows he would miss 79 days due to 7 spells of injury. When we put the players side by side, we can see that they have ended up being very similar. You have to look very closely to find the differences, which makes me think that the outcome of the experiment means that although player B was injured more, it didn't hold him back in his development and natural fitness might not be so important when it comes to 18 to 21 year olds.